Now we'll look at two examples of subtracting sine fractions. When subtracting fractions, we do have to have a common denominator. Looking at our first example, we have negative 7 eighths minus negative 5 eighths. Notice we do have a common denominator of 8. But let's rewrite this subtraction problem as an addition problem. And at the same time, we're going to move this negative sign here up into the numerator. So we'll have negative 7 eighths and then minus a negative 5 eighths is the same as plus a positive 5 eighths. So now we can add these two fractions. The denominator stays the same, and then we add the numerator. So negative 7 plus 5 is equal to negative 2. But now the numerator and denominator do have a common factor of 2. And to show this, we'll write this as negative 1 times 2 and then we'll write the prime factorization of 8, which would be 2 times 2 times 2. So notice how one factor of 2 is going to simplify out. So we're left with negative 1 all over 4, or negative 1 fourth, which is normally written where the negative sign is out front of the fraction, like this. Now let's take a look at a second example. Here we have negative 1 half minus 3 tenths. Notice on this example, we will have to find a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. But let's start by writing this as an addition problem, as well as moving this negative sign up into the numerator. So we'll have negative 1 over 2, and then subtracting positive 3 tenths is the same as adding negative 3 tenths. And now let's work on determining the least common denominator. We want the smallest number that is a multiple of both 2 and 10, or the smallest number that is divisible by both 2 and 10, which in this case would be 10. So if we multiply negative 1 half by 5 in the denominator and 5 in the numerator, that's like multiplying by 1. But notice how now we do have a common denominator of 10. This would be negative 5 tenths plus negative 3 tenths. And now we can add these fractions. The denominator stays the same. And we add the numerators. Negative 5 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 8. But again, this does simplify. The prime factorization of 8 would be negative 2 times 2 times 2. The prime factorization of 10 would be 2 times 5. So we can see there's a common factor of 2 between the numerator and denominator, which simplifies to 1. So our simplified answer would be negative 4 fifths. We'll take a look at two more examples in the next video, and we'll also go over how you can use the prime factorization of the denominators to determine the least common denominator.